I am one of your coasts whole. One of your coasts whole. <laughs> uh, and I'm joined today by three lovely guests. We have at the top, you know him, you love him, Chris Kokinos. It's me. The lovely and slightly older Isa Badiola. Slightly older. Her birthday was yesterday. Slightly older than me. No, 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 it's not true. I don't know if anyone's slightly older than you, Chris. You forget that I'm here, the dad. But you're the the, the kid of all ages, John Reisinger. I have children that are almost the age of some of our employees. We're here to play some Top Tier. Now, Top Tier is the show where we uh, take some media sensation and rank all of the characters, sometimes with a frame. I think we're just gonna go with general characters today. As with our tour list, always Golden Honey is the pinnacle of all existence, followed by S, A, B, C, and D. D being a character that we don't quite fancy that much. We decided a couple weeks ago that we wanted to do Avatar The Last Airbender just because you like anime, you're gonna like Avatar The Last Airbender. Why? That's okay. my blanket I'm statement. I'm not even gonna ask the question. I was gonna ask why is it not anime because I think it's anime. For Americans, it is a cartoon. In Japan, they consider it anime. Simpsons is an anime, but... Then it makes no sense. Then that <laughs> yes. rule doesn't work. Then that, no. Then, then, then your logic is unsound and this is an anime, you dummies. Before we roll into it, what kind of bender would you be? I'm Does fire. I'm 100% fire. I'm a fire okay, bender. Huh? Oh, uh, boy. boy <laughs> nice, good one. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> so, where would we be without starting with Aang? I always get heat for throwing these good, good protagonists into like top tier categories. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm only gonna partially put my my foot in my mouth and throw him at A for Aang and not Ong. You. Awful live action it version of the it movie. It doesn't exist. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. exist, Chris. That movie holds a, a significant place for me, actually. It is the first time I realized a movie could be bad. Okay, I was <laughs> gonna say. I'm I'm okay with putting him in A. I'm fine with that too. Okay. I might be co convinced to maybe lower him, but we'll see. Appa. Freaking <gasps> Appa, baby. Yes. S. S. Name, name I... one other like pet character in a cartoon that's as top tier as Appa. I'll wait. It's rough. Rough. Wait here. it's rough. It's also interesting how much he does for the story. Just simply like when he gets stolen. That's like the all is lost. Like that's the lowest point in the series. I love Azula. I love that I hate her because she's a really well done character, but she she's is, also yes. very, she's an awful person. She, yes. And it makes me so angry. She's an awful person, but I love how they explain how she gets there. She's also not redeemable. Like it, that no, stuff that happens in no. the comics later where they give her chances to redeem herself. And it's like, no, because of how I've been raised, I'm a bad person. I think she's the best villain in the series. If it's not S tier, then A tier for sure for me. Mm. I'm fine with A. She was like, she was just a really well done character. Yeah, right? like there's like no doubt about like that. Her mom, her mom had problems with her. Her brother had problems with her. Her dad was, well, her dad. She hated Iroh, which was kind of shitty. So now it makes me want to knock her down by like seven <laughs> pegs because. Well, it's because essentially her mom just kind of goes, you're a monster. I care more about my baby boy. It's kind of like an exercise in empathy for both Azula yeah. and her mom, yeah? yeah. Okay, so we're getting to our first kind of tertiary character, Bato. Bato. B uh, for Bato. You remember, B for Bato. He was the. Uh, I'll put him there just while we're discussing. He was the surrogate father to Sokka and Katara while their father was off fighting. He's a forgettable character for me. I think he's extremely forgettable, so I don't want to say Ooh, B for C. Bato. Okay. He looks, yeah. He looks like a he looks like a nice guy, but that's that's where the line is drawn. You know. C is yes, being yes. nice, yeah. in my opinion. Down, Bato. Down. You're now Kato. A character I immediately think is better, Cabbage Merchant. Cabbage Merchant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, C for Cabbage. C for Cabbage for me. C for Cabbage? I mean, he's a great character. <laughs> well, I don't have an argument. I'm sorry, I don't have an argument. I thought someone was gonna bite. We're still gonna have people being crushed by boulders, being burned alive, people being murdered. But there's still a guy who's upset because of his cabbage cart always gets My blown cabbages. up. My cabbages! He's not as bad as Bato, so he can't be C. <laughs> cabbage Man needs to be at least B. As we know him, Combustion Man. Combustion is, Man. Is, is Sock, what I call him, what is it? Boomy Boomy. Sparky, Boomy Sparky, Boomy Sparky, Sparky Boom Man. The Assassin? Yeah, the Assassin yes. of yeah. the Three. I would actually put him so low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he was a threat for sure, but also did no one else really think about the fact that he just firebends from his like mind or eye and then the, that would be his weak spot. I get why they did it, but it was also weird like they, they had already done so much to send like a Terminator type villain after them was like, 
I never really thought they were in that much danger. He wasn't a good villain. I just remember him being very spooky. He was spooky and it's like, oh no, we, we have to finish the show in 10 episodes. I don't think he's gonna do much. Uh, speaking of uh, shitbags, uh, <laughs> sand Joshuin. Joshuin, the, the sandbender who steals Appa. New tier, new tier shitbag tier. <laughs> shitbag tier. <laughs> shitbag tier, there we go. Monk Gyatsu. Almost Aang's so. airbender teacher. I felt bad for every time Aang just wanted to go play. But he's the and one who he let Aang go play. It's true. Was he? Oh, yeah. that's right. It's Gatsu. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Is the other the other douche nozzles wanted him to act like a, a high and mighty uh, avatar. He's the one in the narrative of the story is what allowed Aang to be so fun. I mean, maybe if he had taught Aang to take care of his uh, his position more appropriately, Aang wouldn't have left and given them 100 years of being under the Fire Nation rule. But... <laughs> it worked out in the end. It all worked That's out. Saying, for the but, sake of the show. That hundred years but, is a bad time. Gyatso actually like came into Aang's room going like, Aang, we're going to leave. They were going to run away together, you know, because he didn't want Aang to go through this shit. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, it he's turns a good out dad. Aang already left. Yeah. He's not a good caretaker of the entire, uh, you know, he world. Really, yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, you could say he single-handedly murdered all of the airbenders. Yeah. Now, here, here's a questionable character. Speaking of fathers, we have uh, ah. Hakoda, Katara and Sokka's father. Where was he? He, he was, was off fighting. trying to fight the Fire Nation. This is true. I have nothing to say now. Do you leave your kids behind and in danger to go hopefully, like, stop the danger at its source? Or do you stay back and just defend all the time and not really... Because, I mean, he's essential for the Day of Black Sun and yes. uh, Sozin's Comet. Yes. The closest equivalent I could find in my mind, and I could be wrong, is, is kind of like being like a dad in the military. So that was kind of his, his duty and his responsibility. And the benefit of being in the Water Tribe is that they're a tribe. So it is a familial community. It's easy to say this now. Why didn't he take them to the Northern Water Tribe? Sokka is the most capable warrior left. Keep that guy in C. <laughs> Chris, now we want terrifying Chris. Let's talk about Hama. Ooh, Let's talk about that bloodbending, man. Bloodbending is dope, but also it's pretty fucked up. Hama's A, at minimum. <laughs> yeah. It's she like, might be. She like, might. She might be S for me. Oh shit! Just like this completely fucked up old lady. Who's like, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna inflict all the pain that's been done to me onto other people. They gave her like half an episode and she managed to be a memorable and freaky as fuck character. Somehow as a villain, she expedited the training of one of our, our heroes as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, I yeah. think she's like S tier. Let me ask you this. Do you remember her? Hell yeah, I remember she was spooky as hell. How much do you remember about Bato? <laughs> I, I'm not then we need to be bumping those boys down like down down to John's point She's the exact opposite of combustion man where combustion man was given like a five episode arc She's given one episode and you're like, oh not only is she a waterbender like she's a waterbender bad guy in season one They found a way to make yeah. a waterbender bad guy <laughs> the whole like pulling the water out of the air and turning it into like little knives on her hand and then like just the the blood bending i had to go and do a quick recap because i watched the show when it first came out and it's been a long ass time and i'm like looking at i'm looking at her and i'm like oh my god instant flashback to like bodies being like contorted she's like a story they would tell kids about why not to go out into the woods it's like she's she is a baba she yaga the, she was the halloween yeah, she's episode. baba yaga this guy i don't know haru Haru, he was. Oh, he's C tier. Um, yeah, he's like the the earth bender who is hiding in the village, and then yeah. Katara gets him to believe in himself, and they join the resistance. Yeah, he's T C. No, C. He's C. That, I don't. I don't give a shit yeah. about this guy. Move on to someone he's else C. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking uh, of someone else interesting, uh, boom. Yeah, he's there. Ba -ba -ba Uncle if, Iroh. I would drink tea with him and then I would let him just tell me stories forever. He would want to drink tea with you. For me, there's too much to say about him. He's the best dad in the series, hands down. If Korra was the sequel, then if they ever did a prequel, it would be Iroh's story. That would be that great. Would, oh, oh my God, the Siege of Bossing Say. 
Yeah. Yeah. That and would just, be heartbreaking. His oh arc. my god. As somebody making animation, the stuff they do with his scenes always stands out. There's the episodes where like Zuko is going and confronting him in the prison. Essentially, Zuko's just like, "Why'd you let me be like this?" The entire time that Uncle, like that Iroh, sitting in the prison, and Zuko, the entire time they're having that dialogue, the camera is placed in a way where Zuko is always behind the bars, and oh, yeah. Iroh is never behind bars. Yep. Mm -hmm. Even though Iroh's in the prison, Zuko's in the prison. still in the prison of his own making. Oh wow. That's pretty good. Yeah. And it's just like. Oh, you get to tell so, about such that. great yeah. stories. Of course, the White Lotus, where they retake Bossing Say, and he's even like, I knew I would retake Bossing Say. I never thought it would be from the fire. From Asian. the yeah, to, to free like it the, yeah. rather than to yeah. capture it. Yeah. Another member of the White Lotus, Zhang Zhang. Ah, Zhang Zhang. Oh uh, yeah. Zhang I Zhang. would say C. Who I think yeah, I think he's arguably a bad teacher. He's just like a byproduct of like like old sensei though, right? Like a lot of those older teachers just have their ways that they that they teach. You see it, it's like very tropey in like a lot of like martial arts films, like kung fu films. It's like, this is just the way I am and this is the way I teach and I might be kind of an asshole, but also you'll be more powerful afterwards anyways, question yeah, mark? Yeah, yeah. But it didn't work that way. He was so full of self-hatred, if only because of like who he was or who he is, yeah, because sure. he was just born that way. What we're finding out more and more is that kids don't all learn the exact same way. To force that one, this is the way you have to learn, wound up being more damaging to Aang. All right, C tier, is that where he's at? Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, C -tier. I accept. Jet. Freaking Jet. Jet. No one knows what happens to Jet. He's dead, but then like in the Ember Island players, they're like, is he? Off screen death, babies. He's a pretty I good don't know. character though. It was he very is. interesting, yeah. I would go for yeah. B. Yeah. Yeah. Jin, the the tea girl <laughs> who oh. Zuko takes on a date. Oh, so you know, like I would put her in D. D or C. Oh. But I totally shipped her in Zuko before book three came out. She's also somebody, if she got in her way, then, then the, the, the show would have ended terribly. You saw everything that Zuko, like their life that they could have yeah. had, yeah. and then you mourned that loss. So I think she's a very good character. I put her B. Mm. B. She going to do some boy bending, if you know what I mean. Boy bending! Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> John, what have you done? <laughs> now this is a tricky one. Judy. Judy. I hate Judy, but also memes. Memes. Someone suggested a meme tier. Cabbage's meme. We should put meme tier between S and Golden Honey. It's a hallowed space. For as cool of a character design as she is, June doesn't do a whole lot. She's just kind of there for exposition. So I think C would be pretty good. C or B actually, in my opinion. C. I like C. I liked her dragon she rode on. I didn't like her, I liked her dragon. <laughs> Katara, the, the strongest waterbender as a, as a small child. <laughs> meme tier? She's not meme, meme tier. Why is she no, sorry. I would go A. Yeah, I put A. I can see people down on the list still that we haven't put up that I thought were more interesting written characters than her. But I yeah. love her glow up. She's a good glow up. So A, a tier glow up. Boomy. Boomy. Boomy's, Boomy. Boomy's great. Boomy's great. Boomy's great. Boomy's, Boomy's fucking... one of the most memorable members of the uh, the Order of the White Lotus, in my opinion. It's Blaine in, you know, 60 years. If he tries to do something, he's going to succeed. Yeah. He's A. He's A. Was it Kuei, the king, right? King of the Earth Kingdom. Yeah, the king of, king of the mm -hmm. Earth Kingdom. He's a D, D. tier to me. He's yeah, a D. D. Yeah. He's got a cool bear. He has like the only single, single animal that did not fuck species anything. animals. Avatar Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi. I would put her in B, yeah. Yeah, B sounds good. I wouldn't put them below B just out of almost like reverence Respect. for the importance of the character. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's yeah. just cool. Let's, let's be an avatar. She also had some problem where she's like, it's my way or the highway. Roku at least is like, ah, I get it. Like it sucks to kill people, but Kiyoshi's like, nah, do it. Do it, you crazy <laughs> punk. You won't do it. Coward. <laughs> um, Long Feng. Long oh, Feng. Uh, C or D? I think he's a great villain. The only reason why I say he's okay is because like it was so clear that Azula kind of played him, you know? Uh, and then you really kind of saw him for who he was after that point. He's he's that generic, that tropey, like, always shitty, uh, you know, side, a right hand to the king that's always just Worm trying to usurp power. Oh, yeah. Tropey's yeah. a very good Jafar. way to describe him. Suck it, Long Fang. C. C Whoa. for suck. C. <laughs> C for, C for suck it. No, that would be C. That would be for cuck it. That's a different thing. Uh, long shot. Long shot's He's cool. He's one of the liberation kids. I would go B. Can B? we same as same level as Jet? Uh, no, definitely not. I think all the kids belong on the same tier sans Jet because Jet was like the most uh, developed of all of them. 
I put him. I put him in B. That motherfucker could shoot something from like miles away. <laughs> that's cool. That's, that's badass. My. I like my. I like my. May. May is a. May. 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 Yeah. May. May. It's gonna be May. She didn't really have uh, an allegiance to any nation. She was just like. She was true neutral. Let's That's it, it that just way. true yeah. neutral, and she was a fucking badass, too. But her turn at the end, at the um, Boylan so Rock good. episode, so good, it's because now it's just like, so good. oh, oh, shit. Like, it was such she a good She does have turn. opinions about things. <laughs> Mechanist, he's the guy who's making, he's like starting the plans for airships for the Fire Nation. He makes his son the flying wheelchair. Ooh, That's see, cool. for, see for conflicted. It's like a Batman villain. The Fire Nation threatened him because they saw that he was doing all these things to the Northern Air Temple, and they're like, well, we won't attack you or your people as long as you make stuff for us. And he had to make that tough choice. That's why, see for conflicted. Momo. Momo's good. <laughs> Here's my hot take, okay? I really like Momo for one reason because the, the actual vocalizations used for Momo are done by an actual human, and that is fucking dope. People in chat mentioned um, putting Momo in the meme tier. <laughs> There's a meme where it's like Momo's holding a gun. <laughs> That's the second second time in a row we had a uh, Chibi Usa from Sailor Moon holding a gun, last tier list. Ozai, for as great as Avatar is as a oh. series, and to have Mark Hamill as, a, as your main villain, it left a little something to be desired. He made for a very good finale. I'll give him that. The finale was satisfying AF. I think he's less in the character department than everyone here. Mm. Oh, Indeed. shit. You're throwing that big shade. I mean, he doesn't have a character. He's just bad. Like, he's not even the one who betrayed. He's not even the one that turned. I mean, that's Sozin's the guy who, like, had the flip. Are we just shitbagging him is what happened? Is that what's happening I here? was gonna I say, I was like, I'm putting him in- I said shitbag. I forgot that the, we had a shitbag tier. We have a shitbag well, no, tier. I was, I was, was gonna just say, just no, just I mean like- shitbag then. All right, we got Paku next. He's a good teacher. He might be one of the better teachers. Not only does he teach Katara very well, he then sets her up to teach Aang how yeah, to be yeah. a waterbender. He started drinking that respect women juice after a bit. <laughs> 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 he, he turned. <laughs> I think it's okay. Oh, yeah. I would say B. We got a waterbender in B now. We're good. Oh, we have earth, air, water. Gotta find our B tier fire. I know who's going there, but we'll get there later. Pian Dao, who I don't... It's hard, because I think he is one of those characters who, to me, is immediately memorable. He also kind of does the thing that, yeah, I'm Fire Nation, but there's some things more important than nation allegiances. I mean, Hama, you see that and you're like, yeah. Him, I think B's good. I, like I, I don't remember very much, so I, like I, I put him either B or C. Do y'all remember Pips, Pipsqueak? <laughs> I, I do, know who but that I is just because yeah. of the character yeah. design, but no. Yeah. The, the, the yeah. One dimensional, hey. nothing character. Roku. Ooh. Avatar Roku. I like Roku a lot. I like Roku a lot, yeah. The most unique name in the entire series, Smellerby. Smellerby. <laughs> Smellerby took over the clan after, well, after Jet died, right? That was his deal? There's never really a satisfying end. Yeah. For him. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not a B C. Sokka. A. He's got that good, like, solid, actual character growth and development. He drinks the respect of women juice. Also, I love seeing a character who doesn't bend. Like, he's stuck in this oh, yeah. crazy world. He, he, he's he's the heart uh, guy from oh, yeah. Captain Planet. <laughs> Captain Planet. All Ma the other Mati? guys have like. Uh, yeah, Mati. Yeah, they, they have like offensive abilities that can do stuff and he's just like, I'm here too. He has a, a growth that's great. Like he becomes like strategist, you know, uh, extraordinaire. It's great. I think he needs to go to S tier. Ooh. I agree. Think about like every instance in which his character, like he got beat the fuck down that entire series. Sozin, my only thing with Sozin is I think he's better than Ozai. D. <laughs> yeah. That that checks out. Suki, Suki's great. Suki, making Suki, making Suki drink the respect women juice. Teo, he's the kid in the wheelchair who oh. the mechanist. <laughs> who fucking cares about him? The boulder. the boulder. The boulder's <laughs> mean. The boulder's that's mean. A boulder. yeah. That's a good tier. Yeah. Yeah. I think they get to play the boulder. But Mick Foley. Mick Foley is a wrestler. Nice. All right, they, so they got a wrestler. Like Mick Foley. Mick Foley yeah. did the voice of Boulder. Are you kidding me? Freaking Cactus Cactus Jack himself? Uh, the Duke. I don't... Uh, D. That's fine. The Duke, the only thing I know about him is that they, uh... 
get upset if you don't call him the Duke and just call him Duke. Yes. And um, D for Duke. D for Duke. Yeah, D for Duke. D for Duke. Toph. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Toph. Toph. Yes. Yes. Blind little girl invents new bending tonight at nine. Also, what she does to those girls <laughs> that after she's all like uh, all prettied up and they're still mean to her and she just fucks their shit. It's oh my just, god, it's just great. A lot of the Aang comedy and humor didn't ever strike with me. Yes, until Toph comes around and just to be like, "Hey, you're being a little piece of shit." And you were like, "Oh my yeah, god, yeah. Toph was reading my mind." <laughs> well, yeah. it, it, or even like the when they're in the desert flying around on Appa and she's like, "There it is." I'm blind, right? Yeah. Like, I can't see. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some like, of the blind jokes are like the best jokes of the entire series. While also, when I was rewatching, I would be like, is that appropriate to make a blind joke? I'm like, she's blind. She's the one making it. <laughs> yeah. I'm torn. I love Ty Lee. Ty Lee's A tier villain. She becomes uh, neutral or positive later, I believe. She becomes like, I mean, she joins the Kyoshi Warriors. Kyoshi yeah. Warriors? That's what I thought. Yeah, no, and if she's she? gonna be an A, then so should Ty Lee. I, th yeah, I think I she also has that, she has the ability to block <laughs> chakras. Yeah, she can block chakras. Uh, Mom, Mama Zuko. Mama Zuko. Ursa. <laughs> Ursa. Just a bad parent. See. Yeah, I mean, bad parent, yeah. Do, yeah. We should have another tier for, I mean, there's a lot of tiers already, but another tier for just bad parents. I feel like we have enough of them now. He's gone. He left. Combustion Man's probably got kids at home that he just totally straight up dipped out on. Avatar is all about bad parents, That's good a microaggression, Chris. Make that's that's good <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. God. Wan Chi Tong. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that Mr. Owl. How many moons does it take to block out the sun? He was, uh, he was a he was a fun little character. Sokka just needed to not say what they were there for. Sokka's the Ryuji from Persona. Oh my God! You are so <laughs> right. <laughs> Sokka's a himbo. Put the owl in B. Put the owl in B. I'll be. He's, he's a fun little character. Jin Fu. The, he's the leader of that circus that the boulder's part of. Him uh, and oh, uh, yeah. Toph's old teacher become bounty hunters searching for them yeah. later. Right. I'm just preemptively put both of them in D. Why not? Or shitbag. <laughs> I <lo> or <laughs> I, can do, I can see shitbag. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Probably also in the bad parenting list. UA, the moon herself. She's B. B she, she would be C if not for what she did in the end. I definitely felt that she's won, but then because she sacrifices herself, she gets bumped up. So C, C to B, that that glow up. <laughs> Literal glow up, oh my God, oh she becomes no. the moon. <laughs> the, the biggest glow up imaginable. <laughs> Zhao, Zhao is the first villain really, right? He's a yeah. decent villain. Would... He's, the he's the first one we see, right? Cause he, yeah. he goes straight to the water tribe at the well, beginning. Well, I mean, of technically Zuko's well, are Zuko. gonna be our first Zuko's... villain. Uh, and then Zhao is kind of the bigger bad on top of him. It's kind of like a difference in uh, viewing pride, let's put it that way, where Ooh. it's yeah. ki kind of ego versus pride. Is he B or is he shitbag? Here's how we decide this. Do we think Zhao belongs with these other fine people? No. Hell no! All right. This should be. I get down contest. there. You can see throughout like the entirety of book one how dogged he was at trying to like make the change of like be. <laughs> He's a racist. Let's put him in the ship. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, never you're like, mind. You're never walking mind. there. You got yeah, there. You're like, I all right. There. I was like, wait, the more talking, like, I was about, God. I was about to defend you, Issa, but I'm fine with that. We got to put the racist yeah, in the ship back here. That's fine with me. Now, Zuko. S. S. That's what, yeah. You don't put Dante <laughs> Basco below S. You don't. No. Nope. Correct. Well, correct, correct. Unless he's I mean, I Iroh agree. from Korra. Is he higher than, than some of those A, ca A class characters? Yes, yeah. he is. Yeah. Azula would be the only one, but yeah, Azula is who I'm thinking because she's just a gr she's a really, really, really fucking spooky good villain. Yeah, valid. I, okay, okay. I would be I would be for pushing Azula up, but I also understand if we're not like like put her, in the beginning. Put her, I, put her in S. Let's get a villain. I mean, yeah, in S. I think we yes. can put her in S. Okay. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Um, you guys have to now. I'm happy. I'm happy, I am now. happy now with my uh, respect women juice that I've been drinking. I got there. I said it right that time. <laughs> respect juice women. Uh, damn it. Yeah, damn it. Uh, damn it. Damn it. I do respect juice women as well, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this is not about them right now. I have my golden honey pick. All right. Me too. John, are you ready? Sure. I'll do three, two, one, then we say it, all right? Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Iro. Iro. Oh. <laughs> Appa. <laughs> John, who'd Tell you say? Tell me I'm wrong. Iro. Iro. Okay. Yeah. No, Appa, you know what? 
Uncle Iroh rides Appa to Golden Honey, to the oh! top of the mountain. <laughs> 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 the true concession. He gets buff, and then he goes. He goes uber Illuminati by the end. He's not doing that <laughs> early on. He's he's like Illuminati daddy kind of thing by the Illuminati end. Illuminati daddy. And I'll stand by what I said earlier. If there was a character in this that you want to he you want to see the prequel, it's Iroh. I think that's a pretty solid list. I'm looking down. I think everyone's kind of there. Everyone's pretty good. It's solid. Yeah, solid. solid. It's a, it's a, it's well done. I have no major gripes. We'll see you next time. Cool. Bye. Later. Bye, guys. Hey there. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, while you're here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what other kind of tier list you would want to see, what other shows, games, anything anime related at all. Uh, if you want to see more great content like that, head on over to roosterteeth.com. You can become a first member. We have a ton more to see.